Hello and welcome to this week's weekly vlog. Now, how the heck are you? What have you been up to? Leave it in the comments something fun you've done or something good to watch on telly. Stephen and I have been watching The Island on Netflix. We're unsure, but we're going to continue with it and we're going to try and watch Us because we absolutely love a horror film. So we're going to rent that this week, I think. But we need some more recommendations. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because each week I do a weekly vlog, which is like half hour into my life. And on a Sunday, I upload kind of maybe a haul or a chat. But the weekly vlog, um, we're still on the organising, getting the house sorted path. And I am sticking to my September resolution because you know like, I'm like September is a new year, new me and I am working in my office and I have managed to work in my office every day and I must admit I'm so more productive because when I was at home I'd be like oh I'll just go and have a little sleep or I'll just put the wash on or I'll just sit looking at the dog and sniffing for the dog for 15 minutes but in the office I just I really 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 love it. Um, I have done an office video before, but let me know if you want me to do an updated one. Like we've got like mug storage and kind of certificates and stuff. So yes, it's all going amazing. But I do have to pop to the post office to go and pick up a box. So I'm going to do that and then I'm going to come back and then I'm going to do like a box and opening because I don't know about you, but I love them. And she's back in the room. A Yankee candle box. If you follow my Insta stories, you know when I get a parcel, I do a little bit of what's in the box. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So I'm going to do it on my YouTube because you know how I love the Yankee candles. So they sent some flameless products. So some of their flameless range. I've tried stuff in the past, but they've sent me bits and pieces. They're like, what kind of scents do you like? And I told them. So let's see what they've sent. Scent, get it, like S-C-E, yeah, E-N-T, um, and do like a little unboxing. I'm very excited because you know I love me, the Yankee Candle Smells, they're my favourites. Right, let's have a look at the box. Hello, I feel like a news reporter. Hello, and in today's news, Emma opens Yankee Candle stuff and sniffs it and feels very happy. Right, let's go through these bits and pieces in the box. Let's take away that for the recycling. First of all, guys, I can see for my car some lovely, I'm going to save those two, some lovely car air fresheners. I always, always, always use these in my car. So we have got the car jars and we've got one of my favourite Yankee Candle scents, which is clean cotton. And it's just such a lovely, fresh, oh, rub and smell. It's such a lovely, fresh fresh smell kind of like washing and then if you follow me on instagram you will know i love me vanilla cupcake Woo! and the pack of three is really good to have because obviously when one runs out you've just got some on hand um generally stephen and i like to split these so we kind of have one each but is it too early is it too early to mention my favourite Christmas smell. We've got the um, Christmas cookie car jar air freshener and we've also got the Christmas cookie kind of ultimate car jar. Um, oh my gosh, look at that. She's hanging down. I'm going to save these till, I'd like to say December the 1st, but I'm thinking November the 1st. Boom, I'll be putting these. I'm definitely going to have that one and I'll think I'll... I'll treat Stephen to that one. Maybe I can put it with his advent calendar. But yeah, it's just so nice to kind of travel around and have your loveliest Yankee smell with you as you go. But good choices. Right, what else have we got in the bar? Oh, hang on, there's another car one. Another car one. Now, actually, I've already got this in my car at the moment. So this is, can replace it. It's a Yankee Candle Clean Cotton and it's a vent clip. So you stick it on your vent. And as you're driving, when the vent goes, like it, it kind of fills the car with scent. So that's a really good one. And um, as I say, I've actually got one in my car. And because you've got a clear window and stuff, you can see when to replace it. And mine, mine's like the dregs. So good. Right. 
Next thing, these are fragrance spheres. In this are little balls, which are called fragrance sphere. That sounds very fancy, and it neutralizes like bad smells. So this would be perfect for my cupboard of doom, or like you could put it behind a bin, maybe the bin in the kitchen, or you could put it you know, around the back of a toilet, and it just kind of like gets rid of those nasty, nasty whiffs and it's really good for the small space. I'm gonna put it in the cupboard of doom. I'm gonna take out the candle that's already in there that I only lit, obviously when the door was open, and then if I have this by the shoes, it will um, smell fresh all the time, which is, all a mum wants when you have two children and one very tall man with size 11 feet and giant stinky shoes. So yeah, this is perfect for my cupboard of doom. Right, what else in here? Right, one last thing. This is fluffy towel. Let me know if you've smelled any of these or let me know your favorite Yankee Candle fragrance. As fluffy towels is a corker. So this is a pre-fragrance reed diffuser, which has no kind of oil with it. What? So this is flameless. Let me open it. No oil. Why? How does it work? Let's see if I have a little look. There we go. Should I take it out as well so we can um, we can see exactly what it looks like? So we've got our reeds and we've got. Ooh, nice like kind of a really nice neutral little holder and there's no oil there's no flame or anything but it's got these pre-fragrance reeds so the reeds each reed has a fragrance for up to six weeks and you can put in as many reeds as you want depending on how big your room is so obviously this room's really small so if I was having it in here I probably have one read or two reads. If I was having it in my living room, I might have a few more. I think I am going to put this in my bathroom because I love the fresh smell of fluffy towels in a bathroom. It just makes me so happy. But the benefit is it's dry to touch. There's no oil. There's no spillage. Um, it's just kind of, you pop them in and then obviously the bigger the room, you can kind of make it have more reads in or smaller. So this is a very, very, very interesting idea. And do you know what? I'll keep you updated. I might keep you updated on my Insta stories or I'll do it in another weekly vlog, but I'll, I'll let you know how I get on with this. But fluffy towels, it's so fresh. Thanks so much, Yankee Candle, for showing me some of your new flameless range. I'm always down to learn about new Yankee Candle products. If you want to know anything about anything in the range, look below. There'll be a link in the description featuring, I'll put the, you know, the car jars that I've got. I'll also pop this in, which, you know, is just good for all those stinky places. And also the reed diffuser, which is going to go very, very nicely in my bathroom. Or maybe in here, I'm undecided. But one of the two um, rooms that I want to smell, you know, nice and fresh. Right, let's crack on with the rest of the day. Hello, it's Thursday, and I am off to a garden centre that's also got a hobby craft. So I thought I'm going to meet my friend Kate with her little girl um, for like a cup of tea. So I thought I might take you along to see if there's anything kind of autumn or Halloween in hobbycraft. Um, at the back there, we have like felts and stuff here. So I'd quite like to put some kind of um, Halloween-y colour in, or I don't know. Hobbycraft has kind of good bits and pieces to keep the kiddos occupied. So that is the plan I do. Got my jumpsuit on again. It's my new favourite thing in the world. It's so comfortable. I feel like I'm wearing my pyjamas. It's the dream. I think I need another one. I might see if they've got in any other kind of patterns. So that's the plan. It's feeling very autumny today. It's quite, um, it was gross this morning. We've had a lot of rain over here in, in Birmingham the past few days. Very, 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 very rainy days. Seems to have stopped rain at the moment, but it's probably gonna rain again later. Also, I, because of the rain, I haven't been able to go and do my runs in the morning, uh, because it's not like just like a bit of drizzle and you can, it's like torrential rain. So I did do a hit workout this morning, which I've never done before. 20 minutes, did it upstairs, that, the Joe Wicks ones. Um, so 
that was all right i enjoyed it i mean i didn't enjoy it but i did it <laughs> i did it got kind of did it and maybe if i can't run i'm gonna do that i want to do exercise at least three times a week so i'll do my dance class that's one time and then I'd like to do two runs a week but if i can't do a run i'm going to replace it with that so hopefully i'll get a run in at the weekend um fingers crossed the weather will hold out me right let's go to the garden center webs is one of the nicest garden centers in the history of the universe so that is where i'm going i'm here my arms are hurt from that hip workout oh man you don't get that with running your arms don't hurt with running um as i was leaving the house i thought oh, i must tell the people have you watched the circle i watched episode one i think i might watch episode two this afternoon because i'm going out this evening and i'll say to Stephen, catch up one and two and then we can start three tomorrow it's really good it reminds me of big brother i never watched series one i'm really 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 enjoying it um i watched it yesterday and i was like oh when, when i was having my lunch break i was like lovely program emma willis to the big high ponytail yes please so it's lovely i'm hoping there's halloween something here maybe not i would like to probably get lucy a dog bed as well there'll definitely be stuff in hobbycraft i'd like to get lucy a dog bed because she's 11 and a half now she's just getting a bit set in her ways so she's always traditionally slept on our bed but now she seems to prefer sleeping on the floor and that makes me feel a bit sad for her so i thought if we get like a dog bed she might be a bit comfy she might also ignore it i don't know it's it's a risk we're gonna have to take but i don't like the idea of her just sleeping on the floor like that i want her to be a bit snuggled up so i might see if they've got a bit of a dog bed I wonder if they've got christmas stuff out when they do get the christmas stuff out i'll bring you here because me and Stephen came last year the first day they got the christmas stuff out so i have no idea what time that was but um it was mayhem it was mayhem it, it was a people had never seen christmas before it was just so much fun right let's go in enough talking let's go and see all this pumpkiny halloweeny goodness oh i love this one look it's like a stag that's very autumn isn't it and there's these jewels ones as well how much are these i mean 45 pound that's quite a lot but these look like they're kind of weatherproof it should need weatherproof just needs snuggly snuggly night mm, that's an option oh my gosh this sings to my soul i might have to come back and get this with the plant in it's beautiful oh i love it i love all these kind of like baskets you can get one similar in ikea but that is beautiful i might get that one i love all plants you know me i'm a big plant lover fake or otherwise but that is it's a bit of me that is Ideally, I would like this just to be in my fireplace. <laughs> That's possible. Those baskets are lovely as well. Look at those. Um, oh, I just love it. I love having the house full of plants. I do definitely have issues. I keep coming back to these ones. I'm gonna get one in a bit, I think, when I come on the way out. Otherwise, Kate will think I've gone bonkers. That one really, oh, love it. The trees are out. I love them. I love the sparkly ones. I really like the flocked trees over here. Oh, look at it. Oh, look at it. So lovely. And I will show you my favourite, most Christmassy thing in here in a bit. They've got all the twinkle lights out and everything. Oh, sigh. Oh, bliss. Look. Look at this. Oh, my gosh. I love the little Christmas village. However, Mary Brothers Big Top is creepy AF. Look, look at this. Oh, I'd love to have this in my house. Maybe I should stop buying a piece a year and then by the time I'm 70, I'll have something like this. Look at the North Pole Observatory, oh, it's just beautiful. We've got lots of pumpkin stuff, so you can, a ceramic pumpkin. You can kind of design little pumpkin tea light holders for a quid. Um, a lot of like kind of cocoa inspired stuff. Oh, I quite like that. I quite like get the idea of getting the kids to decorate a little wooden decoration each. That's quite cool. I also really like these as well. I wish they had ooh, pumpkins without faces on. Because that's more Halloween than fall, isn't it? But some nice stuff, trick or treat. We've got all baskets at home. What else have they got? 
oh my gosh these perfume bottles are so fab and you put labels on like snake venom and tarantula legs and they feel, I might come and get some of these and you can fill them up with like glitter and stuff how cool is that I really like those and they look like little puff little squidgy pumpkins I might have to get those and they've got all the Christmas stuff in but I'm restraining myself a little bit when I get home or one of the days this week I'll show you I have bought a bit of bit of stuff but I am going to restrain myself. Maybe I'll come again. I'm going to wait till at least November before I start buying all the the Christmassy stuff. There's some beautiful stuff here, though. I love these. Gorgeous. Okay, from Hobbycraft, I got nine little hanging pumpkins. I might hang them. I might cut the ribbon off and just have them as like decorations. And I picked up two little Halloween stickery packs of the kits for some sort of craft. There was no colour in really. I might try Poundland for that. I'm going to do my um, home bargains Halloween and visit soon. And also I've got the little pumpkin glass bottle. So not too much but these I really like. And I do have lots of twigs in the front room and the back room so these can hang off those and I know the kids will love these and because they're a bit different I love them even more. I think I'll give Erin Witches, Ethan's Skeletons and now I'm waiting for my friend to have a lovely cup of tea. Oh my gosh, it's torrential rain! Always, just before the school run, it's the sod's law, it's the law of sod. It's the fact the rain comes out just, just before the school run. Right my loves, I hope you enjoyed the little look at Christmas at the garden scent yesterday, because I did, but weeks ago um, I went to the big Primark because where I live has the biggest Primark is it in the world maybe I can't I don't know what the fact is but it's a big bloody Primark and they had their Christmas stuff out now the thing is if you see stuff on social media that's in Primark it is best to get it as soon as you see it because it might not ever be there again so that's why I want went and got it I'm not I'm not intending on putting my Christmas decorations up just yet in fact I'm just about to film a autumn kind of fall house tour because Christmas won't go up till usually the first week of December so you know but I got it because I thought hey this stuff might go and then I'll be regretful forever so I'll show you it's a little like a little Christmas Primark haul you may remember last year I did a Disney tree and I want to do one this year, but do it much better because last year, this office is just full of flipping spiders. You think you've got rid of it, and then I'm looking in the corners, and they're all just staring at me. I thought if I started using the office a bit more, that they might vanish, but no. But anyway, right, so the first thing I got for my lovely Disney tree is Mickey Tinsel. So this is £1.50, I got rose gold, I got silver, uh, it's quite long so that's quite good. I feel, yeah I got red as well, because last year I did my tree in tiers, um, so I had like a red tier, I think like a rose gold tier and a silver tier, and I might do something similar but I'm not sure. I also got... She's making, she's making me smile. This is what I really went in for. Oh my gosh, there's so much glitter in this bag. I got a Mickey, uh, what are these called? Wreath. So this won't be going, I don't think this will go outside. This will go somewhere inside in the house. But I loved him and he was £9. Which is quite a lot for Martin Spencer's, but he is, he is beautiful. I bet you could make something similar, you know. I bet if you went into Poundland or Hobbycraft and you bought yourself some of their, uh, their wreaths, you could make something similar yourself. That's what I think. That's my thoughts on that. Right, let's put this tent away. Go in there, my pretty. You should live in there for two more months and then you should be out for the world to see. Okay, what else did we get? Right, so, four... £12, you were a little bit sharp, let's see if I can, that's a bit better. For £12, these are kind of what I would call like basic Christmas baubles. So this will be like the fillers in between kind of 
my ones from Disneyland Parks and stuff like that. So it's £12, 24 de 25 decorations. I've got like sparkly ones. Oh, there's a tree topper. <gasps> Lovely. A tree topper, like little hands. I really like this. There was a bauble advent calendar. And me and the kids looked at it. There was a Disney Princess one. And there was a Mickey and a Minnie one. But we decided that they didn't really want to open an advent calendar with baubles in. So we left, we left that. I also got a little Mickey and a Minnie decoration, which was £5, which I thought was really, really cute. This one, bear with, it's in a very bashed box, but it was the only one left, which leads me to believe there won't be very many around. Um, we've got an angel and a stitch for £5, but it was in a really really broken box, but it doesn't matter because it's going to come out of the box and obviously Erin, as you know, is a huge stitch fan. And finally, I don't really know what these are, but they were £3 each and they're like a little sitting Mickey, so perhaps maybe on my fireplace or I don't know, but I thought he was really cute. I'll show you a little sitting Mickey. Hello! And a little sitting mini but you do have to look careful because some of them didn't have eyes this is creepy but yeah those three pound each cute and i also got two little mickey um trick or treat signs i wonder why they only focus on me I wonder why they only did this in Halloween range. Seems very strange, doesn't it? Less more is due to come out. This is two pound, but this is the only Halloween thing I could see. And I've got one on my hot chocolate station, and I'm sure I'll put this up somewhere. But yes, I did think that was odd. Like, why? Why only have this? Why not have more Disney Halloween stuff? Maybe they're planning on more next year, or maybe some will come out in a couple of weeks. So there we go. A little mini. Mini, <laughs> Christmas Primark haul. Uh, it will be put away now without the whole of, you know, the rest of September. Oh, it'll be October while you're watching this, for October and November. And then I should get it out and we're gonna have, we'll have our main Christmas tree in the living room and then we'll have, in the bedroom, we'll have the Disney Christmas tree. So I can look at it in all its glory. And I just wanted, it was a bit crap last year. It was a bit like, it just looked a bit disorganized. So I'm gonna try and make it a bit better this year. And I just love Christmas. Let me know in the comments if you bought any Christmas presents, because I have. We know I would have done. We know I would have done. Right, my loves, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up if you have. I love it if you would subscribe and we are coming back on Sunday with the Autumn Fall House Tour. I know some of you have been really keen, which is where I'll show off some new Ray Dunn, some bits and pieces that I picked up in TJ Maxx for America and Target, Target. So that, that'll all be in that video because I, I keep getting a few requests about it. Um, make sure you pop over to my Instagram and go and see what I've been up to. I know it's in the future, but I'm getting pretty nervous about this G thing on Sunday, like I was in last week's vlog. I started last week's vlog nervous. I'm ending this week's vlog nervous. Um, I'm, I'm looking forward to doing it, but I'm kind of looking forward to it being over because I feel like I'm frozen in time because I'm so nervous about it. Right, my loves, I love you lots, and I'll see you soon. Night, guys. <laughs>